Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Welcome to all of you to the last day, the Taurus day of the physical week in the month of Cancer, which is also our last day of the 360 days of the I Am Path. <clears throat> I must thank to everyone, every person that have been accompanying me throughout all this path, mostly for those who have been since the very beginning in the first five days out of time, uh, 300, 365 days ago. As I explained today in the post, um, what we have done till now has been to go through the 360 degrees of a sphere. And as I said, each one of the topics that we have been talking about in each one of the days of the 360 days has been um, each one of them like a fruit in the tree of life, in this tree of existence that um, shaped this great tree that we have done this year. The consciousness tree. And of course, in this path of consciousness, the last topic that we are going to talk about is the aspect of being conscious. Along this last month, we have been um, walking through the three consciousness. The first week, we have been going through the subconscious, which is the um, global uh, information that surrounds us and makes us be what we are from the outside. In the second week, we have gone through the unconscious, which is the which is all the things that we don't know that are hidden within ourselves. And this last week, we have been speaking about the conscious aspect, which is the one uh, that can shows us, show us um, what we know and the aspect of reality with whom we can relate to. <clears throat> Throughout this month of Cancer, what we have been doing is to understand that we are shaped with different consciousness and that all this consciousness is about to acknowledge where can we position ourselves in relation with this great family around. So this family has different ways in which we can relate to um, according to our consciousness. When we are talking about the conscious itself, we can relate that with the family, with the individuals that we can talk to, that we have links with. And when we go to the unconscious, we can also think about all these past relationships, all these um, unknown uh, existences that are linked to us and are conditioning and holding what we are, sometimes making us feel safe. And when we speak about the subconscious family, is related to every atom, every molecule that constitute ourselves, what we are. And we are an important part, an important link in that family. When we live our lives through um, the subconscious, is basically the most known way in which a living being uh, can go through life. Because the subconscious is telling us what to do, what is our future, how can we do our things, what is our past, what we are right now. We are conditioned by the subconscious all the time. And basically, that means that we don't have free will when we live through the subconscious. It's a universe who decides who we are, what are we doing? The people that decides to live its life through the unconscious are the people that will receive from the outside uh, the conditions of what to do in their lives. That this, this outside is related to individuals, people, 
related to culture, friends, um, family, the family tree. So every act, every idea that we have been receiving from them, every concept, we accept them as our own. So the difference with the subconscious is that the, sub, the unconscious is something that we decide and that we choose by ourselves. It's something that we say, um, I accept in my life. So for example, ethics, morality, a religion, a belief, those are the things that kind of shape what we are now, but actually are not us. They are just from others, from previous experiences that we inherit and we relate as our own. This is why most of the people live in the unconscious, because we live our lives according to others' life. And the conscious, in the last way, is the one that can discern that can say, I can choose my own destiny. I can go out from the subconscious and the unconscious and understand the whole and decide by my own. So having free will. The conscious aspect of a being is the one that has the ability to decide by its own mind. And what consciousness mean? To understand what is the consciousness, we have to go to the etymology of the word, of course, which is con shindere end. Con means together, united. Shien shindere means to cut different parts. And end means a being. So conscien, conscious is a word that means the being that knows how to unite the different parts or discern or understand the different parts of a whole. So the conscious aspect is the one that tells me that the everything is made up with different parts and all these parts are making the whole. So in order to understand the whole, I have to recognize that each one of its parts has important uh, an important place that no one, no one can replace. And by acknowledging the importance of each one of those parts is how I will be able to understand the whole. What is to be conscious? To be conscious is basically to recognize that there is a whole made up with different parts. Sometimes we make this mistake, believing that to be conscious is to know everything, is to have everything in mind, that you already acknowledge all. But to be conscious is not that, is to know that the whole is made with different parts. And the only thing that you have to do being conscious is to acknowledge the importance of each one of those parts. And by that, you have to respect each one of those parts in order to make the whole work. A way to define consciousness is like um, is something that can define the multidiscipline. What is the multidiscipline? The, um, the idea comes from multi, which means many, a lot, and disciplines, that means to grab different things and put them together. Someone that, is, that has discipline is someone that is able to take many different things and organize them as a whole, as something together. So a discipline is a matter, a work, um, um, a career or something like that, that uh, put different topics of that are related into one only thing. So multidiscipline will be that different packages of information work together in order to solve one thing. So a discipline, for example, is biology. So to be a biologist, you need to take information from the vegetal kingdom, animal kingdom, mineral kingdom, human kingdom, and put them all together. And when you join that information together, you call it biology. So then the multidiscipline would be when, for example, we have a problem like global uh, warming, and you need to put a biologist working with 
um, climatologists, with uh, geologists, so they can work together with different branches of information to solve only one problem. So where do we find consciousness here? We find consciousness when the being, the person that has a problem in, in, in front, doesn't believe by itself that knows everything to solve a problem. When you become conscious, you accept and understand the reality that there are many other people that has different informations that can be useful for everyone. So I cannot solve a problem by myself, by my own. I need other points of view in order to solve a problem. That's what makes you conscious. To be conscious is not to know. To be conscious is to know that I don't know. So to become conscious is basically that I have to take the place that is mine in this whole and that I have to do what I am good uh, on doing. And there are many other points of view that uh, are also shaping this great reality. And I become conscious when acknowledging which is my part, I allow myself to trust the others and do their own part. So a conscious being would never come and say, I will save everyone. I will do everything to make you safe, to solve all the problems. A conscious being would try to find the best people that knows about enough about every topic to put them all together to try to solve one problem. So I say this because along our history as humans, we we are speaking about making a, a conscious network, creating consciousness in this path. But historically, we tend to uh, speak about consciousness and even though relying the power of that consciousness to only one, like a master, like a savior or a politician. If we are working for the consciousness of this planet, the main thing that we have to do to acknowledge is to recognize that our part in this, that uh, each one of us has, this, has a very important thing to do and only us, each one of us, knows exactly how to do it. We are the only ones knowing exactly how to do that. So we have to work in order to gain that power back to be what we are supposed to be, to do what we are supposed to do. Each one has a speciality in this reality. So in order to create a conscious network, we have to remember to realize that we are all one, that we are all part of this world. But in order to change, to help this world, we should all do something different. We should be original. If we all do exactly the same, there's no consciousness. If we do what we are supposed to do in this world, respecting the others and what they have come to do to this world, there you find consciousness. Consciousness is not to meditate. Consciousness is to be respectful with who doesn't meditate. <clears throat> to be respectful is and consciousness uh, in consciousness is to open yourself to every possibility and not close yourself to any belief. <clears throat> to be conscious is to realize that every ray of light is the one that makes the sun bright is the one that makes the idea of the sun, that every drop of water is what makes the idea of the ocean. There is no 
um, drops of water because there's an ocean, but there's an ocean because there are drops of water. This is why when we start a consciousness path, we cannot relate it to a religion, to an ideology, to a science. We cannot relate it to a project, a belief, a way of doing things. The only way to be really conscious is by in the moment when we are where we are supposed to be, we respect and leave the others to be what they are supposed to be. And I'm saying this because in this path of spirituality, which I call spirituality because it's not consciousness, when we are in this awakening of our divine, we just can see how a lot of people can maybe believe, think that the other ones are doing something wrong. And that, of course, from my point of view, I'm doing it right. But actually, there is no one doing right things or bad things. Everyone is doing their part. Everyone is doing what they are supposed to do. And now I have to take back the idea to the multidisciplinarity. Because acknowledging that each one has is playing their own role, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't be connected together. And this means that we should respect one another because people working in science or in spirituality or in religion or in arts or people working with light codes from other dimension and others working with the darkness, it doesn't mean that we should be separated because each one is doing their own. It means that each one is doing its part, but we can all work together. The only reason why we believe that there are opposite forces to our work is because we believe that we ourselves are a force in opposition. In a sphere, there is no force of opposition. In a sphere, each aspect is doing its own job to hold the everything. So acknowledging these forces is how we are going to relate that we are conscious, respecting the others. We have to understand then that, as we said yesterday, the forces of opposition, they are not one against the other. They are forces correlative to one another. What we call bad, good, the light, the darkness, darkness. They are just positive and negative, which are the charges of the basis of matter that moves energy. Without positive and negative, there's no movement. If you have all positive, nothing exists. You need the movement of positive and negative in order to create, to manifest. So to be conscious is to respect this movement of constant energy. This is why I call this a path of consciousness, because we are not here together to make a change in the world or to save the world. We are here to know the world, to acknowledge the different parts of the world and to see with which one of them we can relate to. So we can awake up our potential to do something with it. Today, we end with this 360 days of consciousness in which we have been talking about different topics that are not a Bible to follow, but they are just suggestions of ideas that you can take and do something new with it. And because this is a path of consciousness, it will never end. It will never end. It's, it was just one year. These next five days out of time, we will be integrating in, conscious, in consciousness 
the 360 topics that we have spoke about. Tomorrow, integrating the three months of fire, then the three months of earth, then the seed of the essence. After that, the three months of water. And the last one, the three months of air. These next five days out of time, we will be connecting, unifying this whole year of consciousness and wrapping the circle in order to jump into a new level, into a new circle. August 4th is the first day of a new year. It begins a new year of 360 new days. So in the first six months of this new year, we will be working with the practice of everything that we have been learning in this previous year. That's the path of the dragon. And from 2022, February, in the second part of this year, this new year, we will start to work together to create the idea of what would be a conscious world. So a, a cycle ends, but a new one begins. Maybe we are not going to be every day connected as this year, but we will be all together working in this path of consciousness. I remind you that from tomorrow, we will be these five days out of time, uniting and integrating all the concepts and topics of this whole year through the elements of fire, earth, ether, water, and air. The day August 4th, we will unite to celebrate this new year that begins. And in the next days, I will start to share information about how are we going to be aligning for our task in the blue moon in August 22. And from that moment on, we will start to prepare ourselves for the entire path of the dragon. Remember that to follow everything and to be um, updated with every transmission that we will do, every information that we have to work with, you have to subscribe to this channel, RCM Foundation channel, so you can be notified about the new videos. Remember to follow the social media, my own, um, the I am uh, social media and um, foundation, RCM Foundation social media, where we will post everything. And I invite you all that since this August 4th, we all could work with our own consciousness, acknowledging about ourselves, wondering for new information and recognize that in order to become a conscious world, not everyone must do exactly the same. And remember also, I have been here sharing with you this whole year information, data about everything, of course, but everything that I shared it's just what I can share and what I know that I can share. But since this new year, I invite you to open yourself to look for many other people that know about many other topics that can improve this knowledge, this awareness. So be open to learn from all of them, from many different people from many different practices. So you can learn about the whole with consciousness, not just following one person. So if from this August 4th, if from this August 4th, we don't see each other anymore, or some days we don't see each other, so Remember that there are many more doing stuff. Remember that in order to 
that we are working for the planetary consciousness. And in order to become a conscious planet, we need to open ourselves to see everything, to see every point of view that this world can give us. That's the real path of consciousness. And once at this, let's go to alignment. The vibration for today is the statement for today is I am the root of eternity. The code for today is the node of Egypt related to the constellation of Aries. Egypt and Aries, where everything begins. And for this last alignment, I would ask for you to just listen to the music, connect yourself with your entire being to Egypt and bringing the part of yourself from this entire circle around the world connected to the axis of the world.
I take a deep breath, unifying all the consciousness in my heart. with a deep breath in every beat I expand this consciousness to the core of the network to the axis of the world and when I arrive to it I become aware of the great family I am a part of, the conscious family. I can perceive the thousands of hearts connected to the axis of the world. I can feel connected to each individual along the entire network in every country, in every continent. Feeling connected to the core as one. Through the connection with this great family that I can recognize the consciousness of the I am. I am the eternal root. I am the eternal root. I am the eternal root. I feel I feel, I feel. I feel everyone in unity for I am consciousness. Thank you. 
Thank you everybody for having a company in this path of the I am. Hena. See you tomorrow to integrate the fire, beginning like this, the five days out of time. Thank you for being there. Hena. I am Amma. Um.